everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon Hoenn Server. Um, I've been working here on Route 104 for quite a while now. I've been switching back and forth between MC Edit here and regular just creative Minecraft, and just running into a plethora of problems, so I haven't burdened you with a lot of what's going on. Um, let's take a quick look at what some of the things are, and today we're going to build the cabin that's up there on 104, and hopefully get all the trees in the background there. So um, one of the first things is when we were here in MC Edit, we dug out this channel because this is going to be the ocean here. Oops. Dug out the ocean and filled it with water and <laughs> came back in here into regular Minecraft and the first thing it did is all the water just sank. Like it was filled to the brim and somehow everything just sank and we came back I'm not sure what MC Edit is using as far as the water dynamics are concerned, but it did. It just boom. So over here, I tried using water sources. I can just see if I could level it up, but as you can see, we've got this emptiness right here that's not going to fill in. So I'm going to have to work a little bit more with MC Edit, and when I find the solution about what's going on, I'll let you know. Otherwise, right now it's just making that water sound the whole time. Um. Some of the cool things about MC Edit, though, is we were able to chunk out this and get all the sand in here relatively quickly. Um, stairs I put in by myself here in creative mode. That's about it. So um, for the rest of today, back in here, there's a different type of tree. I'm going to use the birch trees because we've been using the regular oaks to line so far. But the rest of this, when we're getting up there to the forest, um, is going to be aspen tree. Excuse me, birch trees. And right about here, we have a cabin that we got to get into. Uh, it's empty, as far as I remember, but there is a little um, pier right here that goes off into the water and so on and so forth. So um, without further ado, let's do that. <laughs>
All right, there. Um, I guess we're going to finish up. There's been a lot of stuff that's happening. The recording on this one is not going as I'd planned, so um, we're going to take a quick look around here to see what we can, what we've got when we finished up. And next part we're going to do is Rustboro City. So let's take a quick look around Route 104 and Petalbug Woods. Uh, ocean got the water thing fixed out, so you can see there we've got water as far as the eye can see it that way. Mr. Briney's Cottage. It's actually a really big house, so it feels kind of vacant in here. I might put some more stuff to spruce it up, but there's the cottage. This is that special section you can only get to through Petalburg Woods. Let me actually go into Petalburg Woods here. Not going to run all the way through it, but you can see it's clearly built all the way here. Once you run all the way through it, we get to Route 104 again. We've got the pretty petal flower shop over there. A couple trainers already set up. Let's take a look inside the flower shop. Oh, that's right. Still got to build this one. We'll do that here in just one second. And so here we go out. Um, there'd be a couple twin trainers right there. And then right here is Rustboro City. So it looks like we've got everything that we need there. Um, so on behalf of Sugar Packet Gaming, thanks for joining us here to see Route 104. As I said, next time we're going to do uh, Rustboro City. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see it as soon as it's done. Thanks. Every challenge along our way. Play